Hello, everyone. Um, I'm very excited to be with you today uh, at, at NOAA, you know, a highly esteemed tech conference that's at the forefront of innovation. And I suppose it's in slight contrast to that that the product that I'm representing, plants, is almost literally as old as time. And yet, plants have never been so essential, uh, nor has there ever been such a good opportunity for people to learn from and enjoy the benefits that they can bring. Firstly, some context. So for thousands of years, humans were rural beings that coexisted with nature. And yet, over the last 100 years or so, one of the most important, perhaps certainly enduring trends in the world has been urbanization. Uh, and that's, that's transformed how we live and work, such that at the beginning of the last century, only 16% of the world's population lived in cities. And in the middle of this century, just to focus in on where we are in Western Europe, 85% of the world's population uh, will live in cities. Now, there are clearly huge benefits to that. We have a greater proximity to community, to society, to work, but it has come with its drawbacks too. We live and work in ever tighter spaces, in ever tighter cities, and we spend 22 hours a day now indoors. It's not natural for us to live in such built environments, and it's bad for our health. However, plants can correct that. So in a standard-sized space, about 20 square meters, just five medium-sized plants can improve the air quality in that space by 75% by pumping oxygen into that space, but also removing things like particulate matter, inorganic compounds, and volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. They can also, by having a direct benefit on your mood and concentration, but also an indirect benefit on your productivity and your social behavior, can have uh, up to 60% benefit on your mental health and well-being. And so it was in 2016, as Kasha mentioned, that I founded Patch with this vision that as we come ever and ever closer together, we should do so without neglecting the importance of nature. So hopefully I can show you a video now which will show you how we've addressed that vision. Do you ever feel a little gray? Not looking forward to your day? Hmm. Commuting's got you feeling down, it's pretty cramped in this old town. The air you breathe is hardly fresh, and work has got you feeling stressed. Hmm. Do you browse too many tabs? and leave work in late night cabs. City life's a real fun scene, but sometimes you just miss some green. It's time to bring some nature in. But where on earth do you begin? It sounds so obvious, and yet we know it's easy to forget. A life with plants is calm and healthy, worthy of an Insta selfie. It's impossible to fix it all, but put some house plants in your hall and they'll help ease the daily strife by bringing where you live or work to life. If you'd like to bring your home or office to life with plants but don't know where to start, click here to discover Patch and take our free houseplant parenting course for beginners. Commuting has got you feeling down. It's pretty cramped in this old Sorry. town. Mm. Do you prep? As much as I love that video, I don't think we need to see it again. impossible to fix it all. <laughs> but put some or work. If you, you, you'll see something bottom right. There we go. Okay, cool. So Patch is a digitally native vertical brand, uh, which Lucille mentioned a bit earlier. Um, and Patch, since launching in 2017, has delivered, to, has delivered over 200,000 plants across London alone. Uh, we are a plant brand that's for the people that need plants most, that we believe are those who live and work in the city. And... You know, we're very proud of the experience that we've delivered to customers, and, and this just summarizes it, I think. I, I promise you this isn't my mum who, who wrote this or, or someone else, but really thrilled to have discovered Patch. Always loved plants, but just didn't know how to kick off the love affair with confidence. I feel supported. The website is so cool and informative. The videos are quite addictive. Even the delivery man was over and above. He clearly loved the plants too. With Patch, it feels like you're adopting their children. You feel responsible for the plants' welfare, and they're right with you if you need help. And the quality, well, let's just say I tried a cheaper company and raced back to Patch. I've no doubts when I hit pay, something amazing will be arriving at my door. Only problem now is I need to hold fire from turning our home into a forest, according to my husband. Thanks, Patch. Love you. So that customer love is obviously something that we're massively proud of. But more than that, 
it's driving core, cust uh, core business performance. So on average, a customer of ours will refer us to 3.2 people in their social network. And consequently, uh, organic orders is, it represents about 55% of our total revenue, thanks to that word of mouth and, uh, uh, and repeat orders. You can check us out on Trustpilot and Google to see if that uh, experience was anomalous or not. So our a potted history, if you excuse me, um, I founded the business in early 2016, and we raised a pre-seed of about 300,000 euros from uh, forward partners, an early stage VC in London. Uh, my co-founder, uh, Ed Barrow, joined us uh, later that year, he, him to focus on operations, my background being in brand, to focus on the experience that we delivered to customers. We then launched in 2017 and saw and, and grew like wildfire in that year, and uh, forward partners came in again and led a, a, a seed. Last year in 2018, overall, we did over 3x year-on-year -year growth. Uh, and during that year, Octopus Ventures led our Series A, which in total has come to 6 million euros. This year has got off to a great start. We delivered our 100,000th order in London alone. Uh, we've beefed up our senior team, CFO and experienced CFO in London, David Lee, joined us recently. Uh, we launched in Paris just last month. Uh, and the head of marketing from the, the brilliant Bloom and Wild, Jim Warren, joins us next month as our CMO, which we're super excited about. So what's next? Well, you know, we're, as I've alluded to, we're, we're on a mission to become the world's leading urban gardening brand. Uh, and having launched and established ourselves in London and launched recently in Paris, we're going to continue on that track, uh, focusing in the meantime just in Europe, but also furthering our category leadership in London. There are so many ways that we're working on uh, to improve, uh, improve the lives of our customers and, and these new plant parents, uh, and, and we're working on all that at the moment. Um, B2B is, is something that's important to us. It represents about 10 to 15% of, uh, of our orders. Uh, and, uh, and also is a great launch pad uh, as for the brand to, uh, to, to like minded consumers. And we'll be building that out later this year. Uh, one of those B2B customers is made.com in London. Um, I personally planted up that office in, in Shoreditch. And, uh, and that we've become great corporate friends, I think you'd probably say. They've helped us launch in, uh, in, into Paris and, and we're, we're solid partners. Uh, and we'll be building out some partnerships similar to those over the next six months. We are setting up an operations platform in, in Netherlands, which will help us to create ever more value for our, our customers uh, and also get closer to growers. And we'll be raising our, our Series B later this year. Of course, part of the reason why I'm here. But the main reason why I'm here is, is to share with you our vision. And, uh, and just to wrap up, I came across a story of a guy called Vibar. Uh, in the Times a couple of months ago, and Vibar was talking about the amazing benefits that plants had brought to, uh, to him and his home. And I was looking at the photo and I thought, these are all patch plants, I can recognize these a mile off. And uh, we got in touch with him and uh, he very kindly uh, agreed to share his story with us. If you could, thank you. Oh, sorry, if you could go back. Thank you. And just click on that, that'd be great. It's like drowning in air. When your body turns against you, it's frightening. I'm not a chronic asthmatic, but I've stepped across the threshold a couple of times. I've been working on a book, and one of the sections in that was about urban life and particularly air quality. I thought all the problem with air quality was outdoors, but lots of the way that we live indoors produces bad quality air as well. And then I discovered the magic of houseplants to help maintain indoor air quality. So we got a big bunch of them from Patch all at once. I'm still reliant on medication, I still need it every single day. But I now take about a quarter of what I used to take. To my physical and my mental well-being, they have made a tremendous improvement. Thanks very much for listening. I'm Freddie Blackett, if you'd like to come and have a chat. Let me know, otherwise, freddy at patchplants.com. Thank you. Thank you, Freddy.